Hello everyone, welcome back to a new vlog. We are Hi. here. We've got Pollyanna. It's such another we sunny, gorgeous Alfie. day today. Yeah, Alfie's behind. I've gone for like no makeup today. Um, I've just got the Charlotte Tilbury Golden Glow I, on. I have a lips. You've got a sweetie lip, haven't you? Um, we've just come over again to Quex Park. They've got like a lovely outdoor park, and they've also got like farmyard animals and play like bouncy pillows and things. So we've just come over here for the day and I thought I would just take you along with me today. I've got to head back to our house actually. So I need to get some before photos because the work is finally starting on Monday. We, it, I think there was three or four weeks of delays. So it's finally starting at last. So I'm gonna give you a little update on that. And then I've also got some bits to unbox with you in this vlog, which I will do at the end. Um, but yeah, just take you with us for the day. We need to, we've got a River Island campaign reel to shoot. So we, we're not shooting that today, but we've just come over because I think I'm gonna do some of the photos over here. So I've come over just to suss out where I would do them um, and things like that. But Pollyanna and the kids were actually sent baby Annabelle and baby Alexander from <laughs> baby Annabelle. So it's to celebrate their Easter range. They're, they have like an Easter egg available which you can buy, which is such a good alternative to a chocolate egg. I know like when they're little babies, a lot of people don't like to give chocolate so young. Um, so I thought it was a great little alternative and it comes, comes inside with stickers and things. <laughs> Mummy, can I please them? They're drinking their water. Can we catch them? No, they'll probably bite. You can go look. Hello. Can you big, see the big geese? Look at the big geese. Oh. So we're just having lunch and they've got a cute little tractor jam sandwich and a little lunch box that they can colour in. <laughs> and I've got my classic chips which the kids will share as well. We've got some raisins. Yeah, cute isn't it? Monkey ones. And one. I I took the, the lid off, yeah. Pardon? There is one. Oh I don't need to try it. Thank you. Mummy got a juice. That nice. I'm not done my juice. You've not finished it. No. <laughs> I've not done my juice. So I've just come back to the house. Um, I'm going to take this back with me because I'm actually off to the haberdashery to see if I can get some fluffy white fabric to cover this with or like a boucle fabric um, because obviously blue is not the colour that I have anymore in the house so rather than selling it for cheap I thought I'll cover it using like a staple gun nothing nothing fancy and obviously the legs are gold which I really like um, also got this one from the garage which I'm going to just put up for sale on Facebook I think but I think that one will be harder to cover because it lifts up um, but it's, yeah, and also the legs, where the legs go up there, it'd be quite, I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll keep that and cover that later on as well, I don't know. Um, but for now I'm going to try and fit this in the car. So the kitchen has all been ripped out, if you can remember, like the sink was over here. Um, they've dug this because a beam steel work is going to go in here, not a beam, sorry. Steels have to go into there, so they have to dig down deep enough. Um, that's the entrance way 
and then we've actually had to take our cooker that was here and put it into the house that we're renting because we haven't had a cooker the whole not not a cooker we've had the top we've had like the stove but we've not had an oven the oven's not been working so this week we took that back to the house that we're at um and yeah like sometime this week this will all be getting knocked down let's just put that into the garden and show you so all of the fitting all of the groundwork has been done this is all new actually the pipes i didn't know that they were all in that's new and then we've got so yeah this this is how far the kitchen's going to come out we're coming out five meters oh big step it's a big step there now they've obviously dug down this yeah dug this bit down as well um so yeah we've got all the bits for the plumbing so we're having a toilet downstairs loo um on the side as well as well as like a utility and an office so that'll be downstairs and uh, if you remember the trees that were here they were taken away that was in a previous vlog um so yeah i'm just gonna try and oh, take you to the back obviously the whole garden will need to be landscaped as well um so yeah let's just show you so this is the before and one day I'll be able to show you the after. So we're coming out this bit here and then this bit here will be like an alfresco dining area over here. Um, the chimneys are also going to be, so there's a chimney there, this chimney has been taken away but we still have the things in the middle um, so they need to come out of every room in the house hence why we had to move out. Today it is Mother's Day and I woke up to some lovely cards from the kids and the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream which I have wanted for a very long time um, and then Adam done me a really nice breakfast which it was actually one of the best breakfasts I've had in a very very long time it was so nice um, and then I've watched a movie with Pollyanna and Alfie and then we've just slowly started getting ready. We're popping around to Adam mum, Adam's mum and dad's. The boys are all doing the cooking for their mum and then my mum is going to be joining us as well. So it's really nice that I get to spend the day with both mums um, and with the children as well. It's lovely. I have just put in some of the Gazoo um, honey hair oil into my hair. I got a sample when I ordered the honey lip oil. So I thought I would try it. My hair is in a major need of being done. As you can see, it looks like I'm brown, um, but I'm booked in next week, so I can't wait to have that little freshen up. I'm gonna take you with me for the day, show you our Mother's Day or as much of it as we can, and then I'll film a bit tomorrow as well, have a River Island unboxing, um, and I've also got something special to unbox with you right now. So, I have also ordered myself a little Mother's Day. Oh, oh no, my nail has just chipped off. Um, I've also ordered myself a little Mother's Day treat from Monica Vianada. So they do personalizations on their jewelry. Um, oh, it's so pretty, I don't even wanna it off. I've been watching to see what I've, I've got in the box. Oh, they wrap it so nicely. So we have one box, two boxes, three boxes, four boxes. So these were gifted as part of um, a kind of online collaboration with them. So I kind of need to do them in order. I love the little packaging of their products. I have one pair of gold earrings from them, from their pearl collection. Their pearl collection is my favorite. A lot of the bits seemed to be sold out though. Oh my God, it's Diddy. <laughs> I do this all the time. Yeah, it is, honestly, Adam, look at that. I wondered why Pollyanna's name couldn't fit on it. <laughs> I honestly thought it was about the size, it was going to be the size of like a two, pin, two pence piece. But it's more like a five pence piece. So it goes on a necklace, so I've also got the chain. But on one side it says P and the other side says A. So for Pollyanna and Alfie. 
So it is like a real dainty and delicate piece of jewelry and you get to choose the font that you want. So that's the P and then that's the A for Alfie. Um, there's already fingerprints on it, sorry. Um, but yeah, it's so beautiful. Look how diddy that is. But that's kind of perfect because when you see the chain that I went for to go with it, um, it's also like a really delicate piece. I wanted something that I could wear like all the time and not take off and I feel like that's the perfect piece. So let me try and find the chain. Yes, yeah, so then this one has the little chain in and I love this chain. So it's not a long chain, it's more like a, a choker and it has like the, it's really hard to show you. It has like the, uh, the three balls effect on it as well yeah so these are sold separately so you can buy the chain on its own and then i added the pendant the pendant itself is 18 karat gold and it's the dia the dia beaded pendant charm and then they offer free personalization on them as well which i think is such a lovely idea you can also upload a doodle so like another one that i will get later on is like or even you know, imagine like a handwritten note from somebody that maybe has passed and you have their handwriting on the necklace. It's just such a nice idea and it's free. So this is the chain, as you can see it's like, I really, really like it. I'm really not used to wearing necklaces. What? And then I got another pair of earrings. Now I don't know if I'm gonna wear this all today. It might be a bit too much, but I got the Siren Huggy earrings. Um, and they're really, really diddy, which again, I really like. Oh my God. No. <laughs> they're diddy, but I got this to go on them. These, oh my God, I'm so confused. They came, they came, so you buy them separately, but they suggested getting them together. So, so then the pearl, was the Nora Pearl Pendant Charm. And it said that they went on that, but there's no way I could surely get, oh, can I? I don't know. Oh my God, it definitely, definitely said that they, oh, yeah, so look. Oh my God, honestly, just so deceiving. Um, so that is the little huggy earring together i thought they were so sweet i love 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 the pearl collection now i'm trying to get this little fiddly on honestly like i'm really not good with like fiddly bits but will it even go in my ear i have quite a big earlobe doesn't everyone oh it's in oh i thought i'd have a too thick earlobe oh i love them Okay, I feel like the red lip now is too much of all of this, but how pretty are they? So this was my little Mother's Day treat to myself um, from Monica Finada. And I just love, love, love their jewellery pieces. Um, oh, I love the neck. I'm really not used to wearing a necklace. Like my mum always wore a necklace, um, but I'm just not used to wearing a necklace. I'm gonna have to go and have a, yeah, just get used to it, aren't I? But I think it's just a lovely little, little nod to like my children. Um, I'm gonna go shave them it now. And then possibly take off this red lip because I th feel like it's a little bit too much. So we've just popped to the house to just make sure it is empty because the work starts tomorrow. So this wall here is gonna be knocked down and and that's going to be coming down as well. Ooh. That wall's going to be gone, yeah. No, that one will stay. Yeah, that one will, will it? Yeah. The window's going there. No. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we were going to have doors. Oh, on the next bit, yeah. Yeah, I'm just so happy that work is finally starting. The next time we'll be here, well no, not the next time, but like tomorrow, 
we will finally start to see progress. I just cannot wait. It's so noisy. Um, yeah, I swapped out the red lip and I put on my Dior lip gloss, which I've been wearing in the past few days, and I've really been loving it. Yeah, I really love it. It's like a plumping one as well. And yeah, I put my little jewellery pieces on, and I love them. I love them so much. The earrings are just stunning. It's so noisy. I'm also worried about the chandelier. Like, I don't know what to do with it. Like, with all like the the vibrations and the like shaking do we take it down do we cover it up uh, i think we should cover it so maybe adam will come back tomorrow to cover that but um yeah i'm gonna miss these doors though these doors are very nice and we have been debating about whether to so on the back wall when like we extend out the five meters along here and like literally it'll be but going out there the whole five meters will be doors and we've been having to make the decision on sliding doors or by folding doors to have it clear glass or to have squares not probably a square like that like four squares at a time rather than little squares um, but that does make the price a lot more costly and I just didn't know if it was something that I wanted Pollyanna careful yeah, we just didn't know if it was something that we wanted or not. All the other windows, we're going to keep keep everything like really in keeping. So they're going to be very similar, same shape, style, but obviously double glazed for more warmth and soundproofing. So yeah, I will talk talk to you about the doors in another video when the children aren't running around. Okay, Good morning, everybody. Well, my Mother's Day turned out to be a very lively Mother's Day. We ended up staying at Adam's mum and dad's till about midnight after several, several bottles of Whispering Angel. Oh my God, you know, when you just wake up feeling not refreshed, not refreshed at all. So I've just had a shower, washed my hair, doing all the, those things that you need after having a boozy one. Um, and I just put the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Cleansing Balm on my face. And I'm about to wash this off. I have been using three products day and night lately on my face. They're all from Elemis. So there was, there's this one. Let me, let me show you my little routine. So I start off with the Elemis Dynamic Resurfacing Facial Wash. And this just takes everything off my face throughout the day, like all the dirt that clogs up your pores and makeup. I'll go in with that and wash my face and then I will go in with the cleansing balm and this just, oh I love it, I try and leave this on for like 10 minutes so I'll put it on and then potter around doing other things and then wash it off um, but this is like my favourite product. If I'm in a rush and I don't have time to use the facial wash I will quickly just go in with this, this is like my absolute favorite favorite product at the moment it really i've really noticed a difference in my skin it's like always glowy i have like quite a big pore here that's quite open and it started to close up so like when i'd put my makeup on i'd really notice like the pores on my nose even like as a child i had like blackheads and things and i just was i've never ever been good at skincare and that's something that since turning 30 i've really tried to change um, hence why like for my birthdays or Mother's Day or things, Adam will always get me something to do with skincare because it's just something that I don't really treat myself to a lot and um, I just don't really know where to start so if I see what other people are using it tends to like help me. 
So then after I've used the cleansing balm, which is what I'm going to do now, I'll wash this off with a nice warm flannel and then I will add the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Hydro Mist and this just really freshens up your face. You can apply this on top of your makeup as well to give your skin just a little bit of freshness. So I, look, I've used this so much. It's like already, I've only had it like a little month, like a month and it's like down here already. But yeah, love this. I spray this in the evening before bed and in the mornings as well. It just really makes me feel a little bit more like awake. So I'm just gonna wash this off my face now and then I'm not gonna put any makeup on today. I'm gonna put the Elizabeth Arden eight hour cream that Adam got for me and I'm gonna put that on and um, just give my skin a little bit of a break and just have a day in the house. I've got some things to unbox with you. Um, and we have our HelloFresh delivery coming today, so I'll unbox that with you as well. cream onto my face. I was a little bit surprised with the consistency of this actually. Um, it's like a jelly. Let me show you. Look. I wasn't expecting it to uh, look like that but I put it on my lips yesterday and oh my goodness no, no there's like no chapness whatsoever. I get really really dry lips in winter and I have been looking for something for so long hence why i got the um gizu honey oil which was like 24 pound for a lip oil which it does it is really nice and luxurious on your lips but it's not something that i could wear on holiday because it has no spf in it and it would attract the sun and then it give me cold sores so yeah it's like a really nice consistency but this is meant to be amazing for like burns as well for cold weather, like all weather. Oh, did I just drop some? Um, yeah, like all weathers. It just protects your skin. Like I think this will be really good for when we go skiing. Just a really, got a heavy um, consistency. It's just a bit bizarre, but I've heard so many people raving about this. I actually put this on yesterday underneath my makeup. I put this on first and then my makeup on top. But yeah, that little bit goes a long way. You can definitely like feel it on your skin like. So yeah, I'll keep you posted on what I think of this product. But it's definitely been amazing for my lips. Like even if I was just to put it on at night time over my lips. So yeah. That is my me done for the day, and I'm gonna let my hair dry naturally, um, and just have a little, just try and feel a little bit fresher. I was gonna fake tan today, but I've actually run out of Bondi Sands, um, so it's probably good, and I'll just maybe do that later before bed, um, and just have like a little bit of a break on my skin. Oh my goodness, so, so annoying me. Um, I've just come out to get some fabric to cover to cover one of our blue ottomans. Is it like an ottoman? Like it's like a bench thing that goes at the bottom of the bed. And I've just come out to get fabric to cover that. I thought, okay, I'll do that tonight. At least I've done something productive. And the fabric shop is shut on Mondays, so that's very annoying. Not going good today. I was leaving the house, and Adam was like. Yeah, you're looking a bit worse for wear today. I was like, yeah, brilliant, just what I needed to hear. Thank you. I have just finished filming some content for a River Island TikTok um, haul unboxing. Um, so I've just done that now, so I'll show you some of the pieces. We have a reel to film for River Island as part of our um, ambassador, like paid, paid campaigns with them. Um, and it's like things to do 
during half term, the Easter half to term. Ta -ta -ta, I can't even talk, honestly, I am just a mess today. Um, and I was thinking of like doing mini golf and other little things. So like I've picked the outfits for Pollyanna and Alfie, so I'll show you some of those bits. But I also chose a few bits for me. And I think I may have found a potential wedding shoe. They are absolutely stunning. I saw them and I was like, oh my God, oh my God, they're beautiful. Let me show you some of these River Island bits. So this is like a little green set for Pollyanna, which I'm not sure if this will suit her. She has such a tiny little waist, but I love the colour and I love the jacket and I love boucle. The skirt has like this lovely little frill and I thought this at Crazy Girl, but like Mini Girl would be such a cool photo. Um, but I just don't know if it's going to fit her. I but then we've also got, oh my god, just absolutely love the kind of retro-ness at the moment that River Island are doing. Very like 80s, 70s, 80s. It's just, yeah, really cool. Kindness. So this is for Pollyanna as well. We've got some cute little socks. We've got this, which I really love. I'd wear this in my size. So it's like a real thick knit it's really thick and heavy um but it's this jumper with these cute little knitted shorts and how sweet would this be even in the summer with like a t-shirt and yeah just really really cool um but just so thick so it's perfect for this time of year and i love the print i love like the collar really really on trend then we've also got these trousers, which these are just so perfect for holidays, aren't they? Days on the beach. Again, I would wear these myself. They kind of are like a little bit, no, they're like a straight leg. Yeah, and they're not a flare. They're a straight leg trouser, and I thought they would be perfect to throw on on top of swimwear, like by the pool and stuff. And then we've got this dress, which is such a gorgeous colour. Um, I hope you can see it properly because the light is going now. Um, but yeah, really, really beautiful prints. And then my favourite is this. It's a jumpsuit in pink, sleeveless, belted. Um, and they had one in women's, which I think I'm going to get. I've had my eye on it for, for a while and it, I just saw today. It's back in stock. Um, it has the nice little collar. But I thought it was quite cute because it has no sleeves. So she can wear this all through summer. So that was that, and then for shoes, look at these. Honestly, River Island are just absolutely just perfect for kids. How cool are they? And they really remind me of New Balance. They are like the New Balance style, aren't they? With like the, the shape and stuff. And how cool are the laces? Didn't even notice that actually. They're like leopard prints, so I thought like this, with the pink jumpsuit would be really cool and then also got her a pair of these i thought these were really cool she'll probably think they're slippers but these are really really on trend at the moment they're really fashionable the kind of birkenstock style shoes and yeah they will just go with so many things because of the color also perfect for the beach like just slipping on and then now these, I absolutely adore them. They look so expensive and designer-esque. I just love them. Last year I really wanted to get her a pair of brown sandals, but everywhere I looked, most of them were sold out. I think I managed to get a pair on next. Whereas these are like real chunky, hard-wearing, gladiator-style sandals. Um, yeah, they, they're just so nice. I really should have sized up, actually. They're a 10 probably should have got her the next size up so that she'll get more wear out of them. Her feet have like stopped growing at the moment. And then for Alfie, look at these little pair, they're like similar to Pollyanna's. How much are they like Burberry though? Because it also says River London on it. See that? It says River London and obviously Burberry, Burberry of London. But I thought they were nice. I love brown sandals on a holiday. That's literally the only... They're the only sandal I take away for the kids is a pair of brown sandals because they go with everything. And then we've got for Alfie as well, this lovely, it's like a very different contrast knit. 
but I love it. It's got the zip, really, really perfect for this time of year. It's a real cool blue as well. It's also got these little trainers, which I thought were really cool. They're really lightweight as well, which is good for Alfie because he is so little. Um, it's not really focusing very well, is it? But yeah, they're cool, aren't they? I thought they were just good. He hasn't actually got any white trainers now. His feet are growing so fast. Then we've got a little set, which is a t-shirt. Sorry, I'm just trying to organise it. T-shirt and khaki short set. And it says, be a kind human. I will link to all of these below, as always. I feel like for the boys, there's a lot of sets on River Island, which makes it very, very easy to shop, especially like holiday shop, doesn't it? Um, and then this one, which says Mason Riviera. And I love the colours of this. So, so beautiful. Very neutral and creamy. I love that. And then this one, which is more of like a thicker one, more of like a jersey short. They're really, really thick. Um, I love this. And it says Palm Beach. It's got this little logo here and a little jumper that comes with it. So I really love that. And then for myself, we've got this dress. Do you know what? I probably have to... I'll, I'll put a little insert of it on the screen so you can actually get a better view because the, the yellow dress, you, you're not going to be able to, to notice. But this, I thought, was so beautiful. So it's a little bit sheer on the sleeves and on the top half. It has a little belt, but the print is just stunning. Look at that print. Love, love, love it. And then I've got this yellow sundress. It's like a one-shoulder, one-sleeve ties up on the, the shoulder just very long and flowy and I picture this like belting it with a brown belt and some nice brown sandals by these ones which are very very much like the Arizona ones which I really wanted and they were out of stock for so long but this is like I think the Arizona ones were £120 or they were definitely a higher price a higher price point but how nice are these, like bandana style sandals, really chunky as well, just love them. And then we've got these brown ones, which again, they look huge, don't they? They're like bricks, but I thought they were so cool. This kind of like stud detailing, I don't have any sandals that's like brown and chunky like this, so real like tough pair of sandals, which can be really nice with like a really delicate dress. And here we have a potential wedding shoe. Now, for those that have been around for a little while, you may know the shoes that I have been lusting after are. Let me pick you up a minute. So, yeah, the shoes that I have been lusting over are the Jimmy Choo Sakura Pearl Heels. They're 1,000, just under 1,500 pounds. Crazy crazy amount of money for a pair of shoes that one will be covered by my dress and just two I would probably <laughs> and two I just really wouldn't get my wear out of them I feel like a handbag you can wear so much can't you a handbag a belt you can get a lot of wear out of even a pair of shoes that you're gonna wear a lot whereas a wedding a pair of wedding shoes you're unless and yeah, it's really hard, I just don't think I would wear them. I'd probably only wear them like three times a year. Um, I'll insert a photo of them so you have an idea of what I'm imagining. Um, and then I found these on River Island and they're really nice. The heel height is completely different though, but let me show you. How stunning are they? I just think they're so beautiful. Hill height is probably, I think the other hills were four and a half inches. This is probably, I don't know, what was that, would you say? Like three, maybe two and a bit. I'm not very good with um, lengths. But yeah, really love these. And they feel very luxurious as well. They feel sturdy. I love like the gold toe. I really love the shape of the toe as well. Um, yeah, just think they're really stunning. The problem is I've had my dress now altered to 
the heel height of four inches. So I will take these along with me to my dress fitting in April, my another alteration fitting, and see. Yeah, I kind of need to start making decisions on shoes by the next few weeks, really. Like they are really, they do not look high street, I don't think, at all. I mean, it's a dream to wear a pair of designer shoes, but, you know, I think I'd rather spend that money on, well, a handbag that I, the handbag that I have my eye on, I don't even, even think is as much as the shoes, so I'd be able to treat myself to a nice handbag that I could use so much. Yeah, it's really hard, but I think they're a good contender for the wedding shoe. Let me know what you think. Okay, so I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Adam has already started dinner. I will not be going on the Peloton today. Um, it's like definitely one of those hangovers that has just got worse throughout the day. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope it was okay. I feel really bad for, for not being on top form today. But um, I think I've showed you some nice bits, haven't I? Um, and I will link to them all below. And I will speak to you then in my next vlog. See you soon.